mentioned before in a live chat that for the back of the bus underneath the bed in my garage I'm gonna have that fake grass instead of put instead of putting flooring because um, it's gonna basically be my storage and so I'm gonna be moving certain things in and out pretty often um, I'm gonna have like my my skateboard longboard my paddleboard like all kinds of stuff like that that I'm gonna be frequently moving and so like that's something that's kind of cheap and I it, I can easily replace it and a lot of people said oh it's gonna be hard to clean but realistically if you could go to like a self-cleaning car wash I would just vacuum clean it which would be super easy um, so I actually got it in the mail and I want to lay it out and see what it's gonna look like I think it's like the perfect size too so I'm not really I'm only gonna have to cut down I think on the ends because it's eight feet wide and it's like seven and a half feet inside here so let's do that see what it looks like Obviously, probably have to cut around the wheel. Actually, I think this is a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but still, pretty cool. I'm in love again everything every project that I do that gets me closer to being done is like I don't know a happiness that I can't explain I'm so happy to have the subfloor done I am supposed to be getting my uh, max air fan in the mail tomorrow so that'll probably be happening next, hopefully, if it's not raining. If it is raining, I'm gonna go ahead and start um, on the inside again. But that will be going um, more toward the front. The bus is so small that I think it'll be fine as far as 
like airflow goes. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I also have all of my solar coming, it's on the way. Um, I don't know exactly when all of the solar stuff's gonna be here. The stuff, at least the stuff I ordered from Renogy. I ordered pretty much everything else to install the solar, but now I'm just waiting for the actual panels and battery and inverter. I think is all of the stuff that I bought from Renogy. Actually, I bought a solar kit. So I bought the solar kit, the solar panel kit, then I bought a battery and the inverter. So all of that, as soon as that gets here, I'm gonna be installing that and hopefully by then I'll have my wheel wells done and have started on the walls because I really don't know when they're gonna get here. But I do have some big news. I am moving back to Dallas. Last, well, it was December 2019, I moved in with my one of my best friends, Bridget, and I'm actually gonna be staying at her house for a little while. I might, I'm even considering, I found a really cool Airbnb that I may rent out for a month in July that's in the Dallas area, but it's kind of out in the country. Um, but for now, at the end of May, I'll be going to Dallas and I'll be living in the bus full time by then, still working on it, obviously. It's not gonna be done but it'll be done enough that me and the cats will be comfortable enough to live in it full time while I'm still building it out. So that's super, super exciting. And I will be coming back to Nashville pretty fairly often so that I can help Levi with his build. And I think he's actually quitting his job and he's getting a different job that will allow him discounts on materials yay and better hours and more time for him to work on his bus so um, i'm really excited for him on that and then that gives me a reason to come back to is so that i can help him work on his bus as well uh, i actually stole this plywood from him because this was actually his plywood <laughs> i bought some thin some really thin plywood that i decided i made use on my walls instead because i needed something a little more thick and sturdy for the floor i did not particularly we didn't buy the plywood with reflective on it for any reason other than the fact that it was just cheaper. So if you're wondering about that, that answers the question even though I'm sure people will not watch until this point and still ask. But uh, I just wanted to mention that. So next time Levi has a day off we'll be hitting up Home Depot again so I can buy him some more plywood. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure that you like it if you did or dislike it if you didn't like it and subscribe if you want to keep following this build. I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm trying to put more creative spins on them, but it's it's hard to do with the one man crew, but it's it can be done. It just takes a little more time, but that's totally okay. It's fun to get creative and, and try and expand your mind creatively i guess but i'm really loving the skylight i think it's supposed to rain like i said so we'll see if i did a good job sealing it i used this lap sealant which is apparently like really really good and it's for rvs and stuff so so i'll catch you guys on in the next video